Well, virtual desk are not something new as they are available from Windows 8, but I think this feature really got underrated and only used by few user or I can say the pro user who know the value of the virtual desk. And today in this video, I will be sharing four useful uses of virtual desk that will make you start using the virtual desk now. So before proceeding that, how exactly you will have to create it and how you will have to use it. Let me share four major reasons that why you should use it. Number one, if you want to create the windows backup on your windows 10 or 11, and if you don't have any kind of external drive, then you can create a virtual disk and take the backup over there. So very useful option as now you will not have to depend on any kind of external drive. Number two, if you want to install any kind of operating system on the existing OS, or if you want to upgrade your windows, and if you don't have any kind of pen drive external USB to make it bootable, then you can create a virtual disk and make it a bootable USB. Number three, on Windows 10 or 11, if you want to encrypt or pass it, protect any kind of folder, then you have to use a third party tool like WinRAR. But if you create a virtual disk, then you can easily encrypt it with the password using the BitLocker. Number four, you can share this drive with anyone either on a network or through the drive so that anybody can access it or anybody can use it. All right, so now let's see how exactly you will have to create it. And basically there are two different options. Number one, is through the disk management that is the old method and for that you will have to right click on the windows icon then you will have to go to disk management wherever you want to create you will have to select that partition then from the top you will have to click on action and here you can click on create vhd that is virtual hard disk then it will ask you the location the virtual hard disk format all right so this is the first method now the modern method is more better just right click on the windows icon go to settings from the left hand side you will have to click on the system then you will have to look for the storage click on it and here scroll down a bit and click advanced storage settings and here only you will be getting disk and volume so now you can see all the options will be listed and on the very top it says create a virtual hard disk and on the right it says create vhd or attach vhd so you will have to click on create vhd virtual hard disk name survival name crown virtual or whatever name you want to give you can decide it location i want to keep in c drive only so i will click on browse or i can choose my another location so whichever location you want to select just choose it then what kind of size you want to give so it will all depend that how much space you have on that particular drive so i have selected e1 so you know, on my E1, you can see I have around 764 gigabyte free. So I can take around 300. But if you choose the C drive, so you can see I have only 146. So make sure according to the available size on your main drive, you pick the size of this virtual hard disk. All right, so I have plenty of space in my E drive. So I will take around 300 or 350. And from the right hand side, I will select to GB. Then it asks you virtual hard disk format. So first one is the VHD that basically support virtual disk up to 2040 gigabyte. And then below you have the VHDX that is the modern one and it support around 64 terabyte. Below virtual hard disk type you have to keep this selected to dynamically expanding which is recommended. Then finally you will have to click on create. And it's creating a virtual disk. It will be now asking you that what kind of partition style you want you need gpt or mbr so i will go of course with the gpt that is the modern one latest and click on initialize then it will ask you the label so i will again give crown virtual drive letter whatever you want to give so i will choose g file system i want to keep ntfs the size is this one in the advanced feature there are a few more other options if you want to compress it then you can do that i will skip that as of now and click on format all right so once it will be done now this time if i bring up the file explorer so you will find the crown virtual disk has been listed over here and if i bring it up so it will be like a virtual disk and as it has been automatically mounted and if i go back to my extreme ssd so you will find the crown virtual dot file exists over here 
and in future if you want to open it if you want to mount it then you can right click on it and choose mount and this is only when if you go back and if you just eject this virtual disk let me show you if i right click on it and click on eject it will disappear from here and if you want to bring it back then again you have to go to the same location where you have created this virtual disk right click on it and click on mount and the disk will be appeared over here again all right so this is the way how you have to create the virtual disk now let's see how exactly it can be useful for you i have given all the example in the beginning but how you need to do that let me show you so let's say if i want to take the backup so what i will do i will bring up the control panel and here if i click on backup and restore click on create a system image so you can see that it gave me some option like on a hard disk on a dvd or a network location so if you have connected any external usb or any external ssds it will be listed here so part of that you can also see that my virtual disk is also being listed here and i can easily take the backup over here right so now i don't need any kind of external usb in order to create this windows backup and if i select it i can easily move with the backup using this virtual disk only so this can be really useful for you at that period of time when you have to take a system image backup and you don't have any external usb or external drive or maybe you don't have that kind of a space on that external usb so the virtual disk can be really gem for you at that period of time number two if you want to create a bootable usb in order to upgrade your operating system or you want to install any other operating system so on many places this will be very helpful for you and i will show you by opening the rufus application so if i bring it up on the very top it will ask you to select a device that you want to make bootable usb and if i click on the drop down it will also list me my virtual disk and you should have understood so far that this virtual disk is is behaving like a portable usb like an external usb this is the reason this virtual disk is showing over here it was showing in the windows backup and this is exactly the main reason i recommended that you should use the virtual disk you should know at least that where it can be useful for you so again let's say if i want to install any kind of operating system but i don't have any uh, external usb or any kind of pen drive then i can select my virtual disk and for that purpose i will not be creating of this big size i will be only creating of around 8 or 16 gigabyte and once the work will be done i can delete that virtual disk or i can create or allocate more space to it so that i can easily use it so this was the second reason that i recommend it now next if i bring up the file explorer and let's say if you have multiple files over here and if you want to encrypt it then right click on it and you will see an option of turn on BitLocker. so you can easily encrypt it using a password and this can be really useful for you like if you want to keep any kind of personal file private pictures any kind of confidential data you can store on this virtual disk and encrypt with the password number four if you want to share this you can easily share this uh, virtual hard disk to anyone either you can copy and paste to another external drive and you can share it or either you can share on the network so that anybody can access it and anybody can use it all right so that's all guys for today and hopefully you will love this information and you will start using the virtual disk from now onwards and you know where exactly you have to use it and if you really like the video guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye